Good morning, third graders. All right. So for today, I thought it'd be fun to revisit an assignment that I had you complete about maybe a couple weeks ago. And it involved you picking any book in your house and reading it to me. And it was really enjoyable for me to hear your voices, see you reading with all these emotions. So that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to start it off. And the story I chose today is Pig the Pug or Pig the Fibber hmm. by Aaron Blabby by his classics book. So here we go. No, it's pigs. Oops. All right. Pig was a pug. And I'm sorry to say he would often tell lies just to get his own way. And when he would fib, he was awfully clever. When Pig got in trouble, he would always blame Trevor. Poor little Trevor. You see, he would mess up the living room mat. And then he'd just point and say, Trevor did it. Or he'd shatter a beautiful vase of flowers. And then he'd say, Trevor's been crazy for hours. Or he once even ripped up a lovely old dress. <gasps> Says your special day wedding dress, uh oh. <laughs> then he hid behind Trevor and made him <laughs> confess. <laughs> Looks like you put the, the gown, the dress on. Why do you do this? Asked poor little Trevor. I thought we were friends. But Pig said, whatever. Then came the day of Pig's sneakiest plan. He said, I will steal all the treats that I can. They keep them up there in the closet up high. The bear says, jumbo dog biscuits. But before I can get them, I need a good lie. And with that, he let rip. <laughs> it was stinky and grim. <gasps> then he pointed at Trevor and said, It was him! <laughs> Looks a little stinky. So Trevor was taken outside for some air. This was Pig's chance. And he climbed on a chair. Those trees will be mine and I'll gobble them all. But behind all those treats was an old bowling ball. <laughs> These days it's different. I'm happy to say Pig has stopped lying. Hip, hip, hooray. He may have some bruises and one less front tooth, but he sure learned his lesson. <laughs> and that is the truth. <laughs> <laughs> the end. So again, oh, and this is a whole series of books too. So if you want to look up Pig the Pug, it's a fun series of books to start reading. All right, so with that, my friends, I'm looking forward to your video. So find any book you have in the house that you want to read to me, make a video out of it if you can, and send it my way. If you're having trouble with recording, just send me a picture of the book in yourself, and I'll believe that you read it. All right, looking forward to the videos. Adios.